Hello and welcome, I'm Frank Piotrowski and today I'm going to continue the series on how to connect your social media services that you're using already so that you can be more efficient by updating your statuses by publishing your information. Last week we took a look at how to connect Twitter and Facebook in a way that you can enter your status information into Facebook and it gets automatically updated and published to Twitter and today we're going to do this the other way around so that we can tweet and this tweet will be published to Facebook. Well there are a lot of apps on Facebook that can do this but I told you that uh, we're going to use a service that is very very powerful because it combines a lot of your social media services that you're using already together in one central place. And um, we will connect Twitter to this service and the service to Facebook so that when you tweet, the tweet gets uh, into the live stream of the service and the service will publish it to Facebook. And it doesn't even do it with your, uh, with your tweets, it doesn't stop there. It's uh, doing it with your RSS feed from your blog. Uh, from your social media, uh, uh, social bookmarking platforms like uh, Delicious, Digo, uh, StumbleUpon, etc. A lot of social media services that can be published this way. Okay, so uh, without further announcement, let's just step into it. Here you are seeing my Facebook page. And um, the service we're going to take a look at is FriendFeed. And of course, we do need Twitter. Okay, let's take a look at FriendFeed. With uh, at FriendFeed, you can sign in with your Facebook, Google, or Twitter account, or you can create your own um, FriendFeed account. This is what I did, and I'm going to log in with that. Okay, now you see my FriendFeed. This is uh, written by the people that I've subscribed to at FriendFeed. And here we're going to see my live stream. So you can see it, it's from Dig, this is from my blog, this is from Facebook, this is from Twitter. Um, and down here we've got some YouTube. So a lot of services that can be combined here. Very, very powerful. Okay, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to connect Twitter with FriendFeed. And in a way that FriendFeed pulls all the information that you tweet into its live stream. So we're going to we, we have two ways we can do this. Here are here are my services that I've added already, and I can add and edit them right here, or I can use the settings section. And here we find the services again and add and edit. I'm going to do this now. And here you can see all the services that I've uh, connected with FriendFeed. And here you can see that FriendFeed is able to connect 58 services, social media services, um, all together into one place. So here's your RSS blog feed, for example. We've got Delicious, Mr. Wong, StumbleUpon, um, here's YouTube, etc. 58 services, very, very powerful. Okay, so as you can see here in my services, I've connected my German and my English account that are my regular accounts. And for this purpose, I've got a demo account and I'm going to add this right now. Okay, I'm going to Twitter. And it wants to know the Twitter username that I'm going to update. And then I say import Twitter. So my uh, FP demo account is empty, you've got no tweets in there, so nothing is imported. But if you have got tweets already, then your tweets are, going, uh, are to be imported into the friend feed live stream. Okay, and here you can see it's connected FP demo. Great. Okay, so now we've got to connect friend feed to Facebook in a way that friend feed can publish information to Facebook. Um, and this is done with the tools. Okay, here are the friend feed tools, 
and I'm uh, going to scroll down a little bit. And here is the Facebook application. I click this and now um, it takes me to the Facebook page. Because I am logged in already to Facebook, it uh, just jumps over the login page. If you're not logged into, you've got to you you'll be prompted there to do so. Okay, here it asks me connect friend feed with Facebook. Yes, I want to connect it, and I want to allow it constant authorization, and I want to allow it to publish onto my wall. Uh, without ever asking me again. Allow publishing. And this is all about it. Now it shows me my um, friend feed stream here right on Facebook, but I'm going back to friend feed. And to my live stream. So, okay. And now I'm going to sign in to Twitter. There we go, nothing in here. I'm going to write test post. We're using this hash CSMP hashtag for the series, connecting social media platforms. Um, Twitter to Facebook via friend feed. Okay, now I'm going to tweet it. There we go, there's my test post. Now let's switch over to friend feed. Let's see what happened here. It happened nothing. I'm going to... Uh, nothing happened. I'm going to refresh it. And uh, this is what can happen because friend feed doesn't pull just one service, it pulls 58 services and not just for you but for millions of users, so it can take a while, sometimes a couple of hours, but don't worry, it will happen. And I'm going to use a little trick here, I'm going to update it right away, going back to my services, hit edit, edit. Here is my FP demo account, and I said, said refresh Twitter. Okay, now let's take a look at my live stream, and there we go. There's the test post. And now let's take a look at what happened to Facebook, to my profile. I'm going to refresh it. And there we go. There's a test post. Twitter to Facebook via friend feed. This is all about it. Well, um, I'm going to show you how to disconnect it. It's account, application settings, there you see your friend feed and delete, remove. And it's going to tell me it's removed. Let's go to friend feed and disconnect my Twitter service. Let's add and edit again to my services. I click under my services, the service that I want to disconnect. I say remove account. And it asks me also importantly. Uh, also delete imported entries, I'm going to do this, and I say remove Twitter. And that's all about it. So, I'm excited that you've been here with me, and I'm looking forward for the next um, part of the series, and uh, I'm really looking forward, and I'm really excited about your comments and what you think about this. So, let me know, and see you next time.